Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Uh, today here, I want to do a, do a so I'm going to exit out of this video here. Oh, just a second. I'm going to go back into Windows real that. quick. Um, I want to do a short little video on this issue right here. You're going to uh, you 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 want to install Windows, do a clean install on a new SSD or NVMe drive. You just put in your laptop, for example, and it's an Intel based system, not AMD. This doesn't affect AMD. Um, and you get to this screen and it's not detecting your drive. Well, that's a driver issue. Uh, the driver needed for it to detect your drive is not included, included in the Windows install. So I made a video some time ago on how to fix that and where to get the driver. You used to be able to get it <clears throat> right from Intel and they've removed it. And I, there, there's even a thread that I found here within Intel in their support section where it's been removed and people are asking, what did you do that for? How am I supposed to install Windows, blah, blah, blah. It's basically the RST, the Intel RST driver or the VMD driver, volume management device, they call it. RST is rapid storage technology. So like I said, I made a video. This doesn't really apply anymore. S same process, but you're gonna have to go find the driver el elsewhere. Intel s simply does not have it. I can't really get an answer from Intel anywhere on their website why they removed that. So if, if you end up at this page here, you don't want this because this is simply an EXE that you install right within Windows, not going to do you any good when you're starting from scratch. So it has to do with Intel Optane and RAID configuration and that kind of stuff. Now one thing you can do in your laptop, depending on what brand it is, you can go into your BIOS and see if there's a setting where you can disable VMD indoor change it from RAID to AHCI and you might not be required to install that driver you could try that first but what I did is I went to um, like for example I went to Dell's website and I just searched for an Inspiron 3511 pretty standard laptop nice little laptop and I go to their drivers and download section for that model well, actually I got it right here and these are you know drivers that you can download for that model and if you go down here and look it's right here intel rapid storage technology driver you can download this let me show you how it works basically these aren't specific to one certain brand excuse me the driver is all you need so you want to be able to download something that you can extract into a folder and then put on your windows install usb flash drive so if we download this real quick here I can just simply click it to open it. This is just a Dell. You can also do this from Acer. Uh, again, really depends on the model of your laptop. But now, because of what Intel has done, you're going to have to try to look look up your exact model at the manufacturer's website and go to the driver and download section. And it might even be under like chipset drivers or something like that. But if we choose extract here, let me minimize this. Make a quick folder here, call it whatever you want. It, it makes no difference. I'll just call it RST. If I click on extract, go to my desktop, it's right here, RST, I'll hit OK. And it extracted it. We don't want to install it. So it goes into a folder like this. You don't want to run the setup RST. If you go into production, windows, keep clicking in here, drivers. Here's the VMD right here, drivers. This is what you're going to need, these files right here. Okay, so again, let me show you if I go to. Uh, actually, I had to do that in Edge. Here's like I went to Acer's website and I just searched for a random model, Inspire A515 56. It's like an Inspire 5. You scroll down in their drivers for this model, they have a IRST. You want the IRST driver, you don't want the actual RST which is an EXE. You don't want that. You don't want the utility. So if we download this, same thing basically. You can just extract it. Here, let me do this so I don't confuse you too much more here. I have no idea why Intel did what they did, but they did. So we'll call this RST2 just because this is just for a demonstration here. So I'll right click, I'll extract all. Go to my desktop, RST2, select that folder, hit extract, 
and well there's the extractor pull so here's this folder and right here again you can see a lot of the similar files in here as 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 it was like in the Dell so what you would do once you find it from your manufacturer's website or well even if you want to go a step further we can go to uh, where do I have that go to Asus asus.com for an whether you have an asus laptop or not uh go to their support go to their downloads right here in the search thing just type in irst for intel rapid storage technology do a search this will this will come up click on driver and utility and here it is right here you can also download this extract it into a folder but once you get it ex extracted into a folder i'll just grab this one here i'm going to right click on it i'll copy I have my Windows install flash drive in the USB port. It's right here with a you know to install Windows 11, and you're going to boot off this, and it doesn't hurt if you put another folder on here. Just right click, and I'll hit paste. So here's the folder. So once you boot off your flash drive and you get to the that annoying screen where you can't find it, you're just going to basically hit load click on load driver here and then go to browse then browse to and click browse to that folder you copied onto that flash drive and you should be good to go after that i've been getting a lot of comments on this because that video it's still up it um it doesn't the link still works that i put in the description and it takes you to intel's website <clears throat> but you end up here and people are saying well i can't you know where's the they call it the f6 driver it was, a, it was a zip file, but they just pulled it down. Again, it's for 11th all the way up to 13th gen CPUs, Intel. And anyway, maybe they'll fix that. Microsoft doesn't include it on the Windows 11 install as well. So hopefully um, this video helped you a little bit. You should be able to find that IRST driver at a lot of different places, you know, from the manufacturer mainly. So give that a try and see if that works. I hope the video was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.